Razabo. Can you check for me? Because uh, Esau's playing on my phones right now. I got you. Couldn't even look up words in the blue letter, bro. Yeah, you, you like that. If I got a lot of rotate, you should be able to rotate. Why you put this stupid ass feature on you, Can you check for me? Yeah, you got some. Alright, we're good. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rechak Kodash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. And um, we're going to get into a lesson, a basic one, all right, um, about who, uh, who's Esau, Edom, all right, and their significance in uh, prophecies, all right. And um, this is something that um, Christians don't want to deal with, mm -hmm. all right? Um, I'll even say this. You have particular Israelite camps that break this down wrong, okay? And we know, according to uh, the scriptures, that the majority of so-called white people, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention that it's the majority of them, because not every so-called white person is actually Edomite, all right? But as a whole, the majority of of whom Esau Edom is, or what this world will call so-called white people, all right, Europeans, whatever you want to uh, uh, call them. Yeah. Okay. We, we got we got so-called. You got Edomites look like so-called Negroes. So. Yeah. 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 You know Esau, he, he loves dealing with other nations. You'll see him uh, mix uh, with the uh, 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 what is it Moab or the Chinese or the Japanese. You see that a lot. Like how you said they they may be with one of the tribe women. No. Okay. You know, so a, a, an Edomite could be. As dark as tar, all right, you know, or, or, or as uh, shit, gooped out like somebody you know that's from Chinatown, bro. Hey, bro, you okay. know, it was, it was funny. Uh, Apostle told a story years ago. I, Apostle, I was teaching class. We looked at the nigga was dark skinned too. He looked at this dude. We like, you, know, you a fucking you know, Mike. And when he got spoiled, he just left class. Never seen, never seen him again. Damn, man. damn. Remember that, uh, uh, I know you were uh, on the line, it was uh, Elder Malcolm, uh, there was three uh, so-called black women that came up, and the two were vibing, it was three of them, the two were vibing, you know, with the message, and the one was kind of like standoffish, kind of quiet, and then Elder Malcolm asked, like, what's your background, you know, in particular, who her father was, and I think it was, uh, her father was like an Amalekite or something. Mm -hmm. This was like years back on uh, Van Buren, yeah, yeah. I remember that video, man. You know, this is probably, what, like 2011, 12 or something, 13? I forgot exactly what year, but I, I remember that uh, situation, you know? But the point being, though, is, uh, you know, just, the uh, you know, throw it out there, the majority of them would, it would be so-called white people, all right? You know? That's who they are. You got some? This Numbers 1 and verse 18 says, And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families. Your lineage. By the house of their fathers. Right, because your father carries a seed, man. So the nationality is determined by who your father is, man. Right. right. It says, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. Yeah, so the point being is your, uh, uh, you know, your nationality, your race, your ethnicity, who you are as a person comes from your father. See. All right. But uh, let's get uh, Genesis 25 and um, get 20, get 21. It's Genesis 25 and 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. Mm -hmm. And the Lord was entreated of him and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her... And I got to say, this is the Lord speaking. All right? This, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to make a point. Keep reading. Now, this is uh, Genesis 25 and 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So, this cuts vocab alone. All right? Because basically what he's saying is, well, how, how, how could... Jacob and Esau uh, um, be di different nations. Because that's what the Lord wanted. All right? Dickhead. If you don't like that, then you got a problem with the Lord. Which I already know you have a problem with the Lord. 
Okay? You know, he started bringing that BS out a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, whatever it was. I don't even remember. But he yeah. started bringing that, you know, like I said, that bullshit out. Yeah, with that fake-ass Kango hat on. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, the Lord said I would do all my pleasure. Yeah, not right. vocab's pleasure. That's right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's a, the Lord's a director. This is his movie. This is the Heavenly Father. You, you know, the, yeah. the, the, the supreme being. You don't think the Lord can separate, you know what I'm saying? They create, two, you know, two nations, even though they came from... The uh, the same uh, man's seat. Yeah. Well, it's good to say nothing's, nothing's impossible with the Lord. Exactly. Got, He's I, the Potter. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Con, this, uh, yeah. Jeremiah 32 and verse 26 says, Then came the word of Yahweh unto Jeremiah, saying, Behold, I am Yahweh, the power of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Mm. That is that. And then, but that's, see, that's what uh, uh, Vocab's doing. And then, you know, these Edomites and the rest of these people that follow... You know, Esau and his ways, you know, science and, 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 and whatever, whatever he believes in, in, in energy, yeah. Yeah. whatever he puts out there. Oh, yeah. that, that, they're saying that the Lord has a cap. Mm -hmm. Right, it's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Then, you got, then you got demons, you that scripture, to come over some bullshit, then they'll go back to this scripture. I'll say anything, it's possible the Lord. Yeah, yeah, that's true, but guess what? The Lord is set up that way. How about that? Exactly. Yeah. How about them apples, asshole? Right. He set it up. This way, not that way, with with the bullshit you that's coming out of your fucking mouth, man. Exactly. Uh, keep reading Lotus Warren. Who was that it on that? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I was in on that comment. There's uh, Genesis 25 and 23, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, mm -hmm. and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, mm -hmm. and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Yeah, and the, the nation that's stronger is talking about the Israelites. Okay, they the so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and, and Native Americans, and it's evident we're we're the best, you know, fighters. Mm -hmm. Are right? we're the best inventors, cooks, dancers, you know, singers, singers. Hey, hey we, we please the women. Right. Okay. <laughs> Gym sex. <laughs> hey, remember, remember that? Uh, uh, I, think, I think it's pop the hot. You remember? You said, yeah, you you know I'm finna go. Yeah, I already well, I'm know. I'm finna go, bro. Uh, I forget the the <laughs> brother's name, but the devil will come tell you no know, tell him like well, what makes you better than me? You like you can't sing, you can't dance, you can't fight, you can't fuck. Big <laughs> 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 facts. Uh, you know? Read. Read. Right? That's it. That's just facts, bro. Like it, it's not even a question. And that's why he hates you because he envies you. That's part of oh, the reason yeah. why he hates you. He envies you. He knows yeah. deep down you're better than him. Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bring it out. Right. Read. That's why this man be cucking and shit, you know. Yeah. He'll have a fucking Jake fuck his wife and he'll be recording that shit, man. You know, because he know he know he can't please he can't please oh, that man. one. Man, we did a lesson, me and um Ayash, he no, he no longer with us. So me and him used to do lessons all the time. We did lesson. He sent me this damn um clip of this this damn devil. On the elevator with his wife sucking Jake off. There's other people on the elevator with him. Oh yeah. There's other people on the elevator with him. Hell, bro. And you got Jake. He he filming his wife sucking wow. Jake off. Well, yeah, I ain't surprised, man. They on the elevator and in the parking lot. Cars driving around and shit. And then Jake got a damn drink in his hand like he finna pass out for the blowjob so damn good. <laughs> this nigga's leaning. Ah. Uh, <laughs> just wicked as hell. You got, <laughs> you got Esau filming his wife sucking Jake off, man. Crazy. Wicked, bro. bro. Like, what the wicked, yeah, this, this dude. It's just script saying the spirit's not yeah. up, up right in him, man. That's right, man. Who the hell would get off a uh, white? Who the hell uh, won't stay right. white to deal with another dude, man? Right, right. Like, that, like, like that shit out. is. is like, what the fuck? Is it cool? Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. okay. go ahead, it. brother. Is, uh, like, man, this <laughs> nigga is fucking weak. He's a fucking weirdo, man. Right. Yeah. It's Habakkuk 2 and, um, <clears throat> and 4. It says, uh, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by, by his faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, like I said, so he's completely left, man. He's yeah. completely opposite of what's right, man. He's not, and this, you could apply this two thirds as well, man. Mm -hmm. This is talking about them first and foremost, man. Yes, facts. All right. Through, crew. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Man, you could use that for Esau because he's definitely not right. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Can a leopard change his spots? Exactly. Uh -huh. nope. Can you make a, 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 a crooked, crooked thing straight? Yeah, this is right. the same guy that 
gets off on a woman pegging him, man. Oh, yeah, right. right. He's <laughs> like, bro, like... Yeah. Stomping his nuts. Yeah. Oh, right, nuts. Yeah, right, right. Damn. So, this, this, this shows you how, how <laughs> fucked up in the head this dude is. Man. Oh, man. I, I remember I was out with the brother Kadar. You remember that day? We was downtown and shit. This is one eating my bitch trying to get me and the brother. And then long so should we look we look at the cover like it's such a man, she got a, a man whole right family. There. He in the cut. Smiling. Creepy smiling. as hell. She knows no, that's not Whoa. my man. That's not my man. Wow. I'm like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? She was trying to get me and the brother to deal, right? And then she was like, then she had a whole family, kids running around and shit. I mean, that's your man. That's your, that, that, what the fuck? He in the car sitting down with, on the picnic. Creepy Smart. as hell, man. Yeah, man. He's dead. He's eating my son. <laughs> they be, all right, have Jake fuck their wife and they in the corner or hiding in the closet or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And then this nigga have his woman pegged and why he have a dress on and shit, man. Oh, my God. You know, this, this, this is the, the dude you, this is the deal, dude we dealing with, man. Yeah. This dude is not right at all, man. It's actually pretty scary, man. Yeah, because he, he's the one ruling the world. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So the people are gonna be out, be like him. You know, yep, yep, yep. It's the rock team. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But as it said there, though, back in the Genesis 25 is in 23, it said the elders should serve the younger, and that's key. Key mm-hmm. reading our. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's oh it. yeah, you're gonna tell you when you keep yep. reading. Yep. Mm-hmm. This uh, Genesis 25 and 24, and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Yep, so it says, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And as we were uh, explaining in class, that doesn't mean that he was hairy, all right? Because look, as the elder crowd mentioned, what baby comes out hairy, all right? And it says, it's a key word there, like. Right. Like a hairy garment, meaning it, it was like this particular garment, and the brother's gonna bring it out. What does that mean? Exodus, Exodus twenty-five and five. Thirty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. It's thirty-five. Oh, I got okay. it. I got it. Just the book of Genesis chapter thirty-five Exodus. verse five. Exodus. 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 Just the book of Exodus chapter thirty-five verse five. Take ye from among you an offering unto the Lord your house, whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it. An offering of the Lord Yahweh, gold and silver and brass and blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair and ram skin dyed red. Ooh, dyed red. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. Ram hey. skin dyed red. Hey, that's a that's a batak moment. Run into the Man, that dude, like you said, that dude, that shit, that nigga is bugged out, bro. Yeah. Man, that, man, we on 63rd Street Beach, and we read scripture, cut this nigga, that Obama lover. This nigga ran straight to the damn water. Woo! <laughs> that, that motherfucker, man, he was doing that all the time, running around the corner. Shit. Be right next to the brother, like, ooh! <laughs> you remember that reply? Yes. <laughs> Y'all go ahead, bro. Shit is funny. Hey, but uh, you know, j- just for uh, you know, brothers out there, stop saying that oh, he saw us all hairy. That- that's not true, man. Not all you demites are hairy, bro. Yeah. And then the apostles are- been broke this down. You don't watch the apostles? Yeah, but you know, like uh, we were explaining in class, that was the the um, old way that one West, you know, yeah. used to break it down, and all these different camps. Can't have it really uh, um, corrected the the minor mistakes that were you know once taught. Yeah. The only ones that had, that have corrected the, you know the tweaked. I guess you could say for lack of words, tweaked. You know the uh, the doctrine are really uh, uh, the apostles starting with apostle tar on down. It's those like little things that to fine tune the, the 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 doctrine. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind. They went back and looked looked it over and realized like no, that ain't the correct breakdown. This is the correct breakdown. And then brothers use uh they correct Apostle Rombach he was the uh Jeremiah sixteen and nineteen. They're talking about uh hey, somebody grab that real Come. quick so I I can't remember off the top how it go. He said it's really talking about Jake. They used it for years saying it's Esau. Mm. Yeah, there's been a couple things, you know, through you know uh, over time that that's been uh, you know a change. Like I said, it's just like little tweaks, little fine tunes. Yeah. You know? Come. This is Jeremiah 16 and verse 19. Oh, Yahweh, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, 
The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies. This is talking about Jacob, man. Yeah, years ago, it was talking about Esau, man. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's possible around like he did a video a while ago saying, No, that's actually Jake. That's, yeah. mm -hmm. that's, that's what we're talking about, man. Okay. So, just, just an example, you know. Yep, so, point being, brother, sit, stop, stop bringing that out if you have been, you know. Mm -hmm. so, you know, it, it's not correct. You know, like hey, we just brought out that Exodus 35, that's what it's talking about. And that's what what, uh, uh, what Esau was being compared to. Yeah. That particular type of garment, yeah. all right? Yeah. It's that, it's like, you know, no, I said, it, you know, his color, you know, likening yeah. to his color. Yep, and, uh, yep, I was just going to say that. And yes, he is red, you know, because he doesn't have pigmentation. The you Lord stripped that from him. You see the blood. Mm -hmm. It's translucent. You see the blood right through him, man. That's why he's red. Mm -hmm. You know, because the, the blood it sh shows right through his skin, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 indicating that he's the first burner of the earth. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Crimson. Yeah, crimson. Huh? Criminal. Criminal. Red -handed. Mm -hmm. That mark. Red-handed, red yeah. Mark. Yeah, that Jake. I'm like, you just follow him, Esau. That that's really the spirit of Esau. Right. Jake is Jake is following him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's really who Esau is, man. Yep. You can uh, Sorry. you can just look up so called white kid. They come out, they be red crying and shit. Mm -hmm. Bugged. Bugged. Oh yeah, man. I, I, I still got that picture. Baby actually came out throwing up the devil's horns, man. Damn. God damn. Out the room, man. Shit. I I got that picture, man. Uh, I used. To, <laughs> this is when Batak was in the camp. I just showed it a lot. I still got it in my folder. This mm -hmm. nigga actually came out the womb throwing up the, the devil's horn. <laughs> that nigga yeah. knew what he was on. Man. <laughs> yeah. Demon time. Straight from the womb. Who's that? Damien? Right. Look at this. Damn, this nigga gonna re this nigga wreak a havoc now, man. We go straight for the boom. We go straight souls. They be born to be glass. Right. Spirit. Kind of... Um, Go back to that. Gen Who was reading the Genesis? I, I don't have the Genesis. Yeah, yeah. Keep reading that. There's uh, Genesis 25 and 26. And after that came his brother out and his... You know it didn't describe how his brother looked because he looked at normal. Yeah. Like what normal people had pigment in their skin. Mm -hmm. Especially back in, in those times. Exactly. All nations were, were, were uh, like I was saying in class, they were either very dark, you know, brown. All right, that, that, you know, that rich, like, dirt, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. was very, very brown. Or they had, like, that, that at least, like, a sandy, brownish look to them. They had some type of pigmentation, That's you it. know? That's the key point, yeah, because all the mixing and shit, now you, you have yeah. what you have today, man. Yeah, and then, then you, you got, uh, like, um, like, the Moabites and stuff and the Ammonites, they're, they're a lot lighter because they've, uh, they've dealt with Esau, you That's know it. what I'm saying, o over the, uh, you know, generations and generations. Hey, man, because uh, the South Side Mike had the... I forget the book. We had the book of the pictures how the Asians look, how the apes, so called Asians look back then. They was brown skin with slanty eyes. Yep. Yeah. So he he, he yeah. had some pictures, man. You know. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I forgot the name of the book. <laughs> he he had that book, man. I wish he was here. Yeah. You show it on camera, man. But he got that book. Before they start mixing weeds on shit, man. Mm -hmm. Ooh, cool. It's uh, Genesis 25 and 26. And after that came his brother out, his hand, it's like his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And we, we brought it out. That symbolizes that, you know, um, that, that Jacob, all right, was going to take down uh, Esau at some point. And we're living in that time period where uh, uh, Shai. Sorry. He's gonna be the one that's in the forefront, that you know, uh, 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 to take down Esau. Sure. All right. Then you have the the angels, the you know, the elect. Okay. But point being though is, you know, um, Jake is the one that's gonna. Um, actually, you know, let me get that. This is a uh, um, second Ezra. What is that? Six and nine. Six and seven. Yeah, you know, seven, get, seven uh, yes, Hosea twelve and three two. Come. This is a uh, second Ezra six and seven. This is um, his one of um. How would I put this? Uh, his role in prophecy. Yeah. His kingdom um, was to, to be established and was to be running before uh, 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 Israel's uh, kingdom. Okay? This is the last and final, you know, wicked society that was to arise. All right? Yep. And after this, 
that's when the uh, uh, the kingdom of Israel, or, or what people will call the kingdom of heaven, okay, uh, well, you know, that, that's when it comes, and that's where peace, tranquility, righteousness flourishes. That's right, right cause okay? there's no peace with the wicked. That's right. So, yep. scripture he is He's raised up, up by the Lord to take take peace from the earth, man. Yep. Yep. He's done and do, is, is still doing just that. Man. Yep, and this is uh, <clears throat> 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 7. Then huh. answered I and oh. said, What shall be the parting asunder of times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, mm -hmm. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. That's how you know the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's right around the corner. Because yeah, Esau yeah. Has, had to be the last person, that, that, that last nation to rule the earth before the kingdom was established. Yeah. He had to be raised back up to power one last time. Yep. That's right. That's right. Sir. And then Isaiah, the 63rd chapter, <clears throat> shows you that Yahweh Shai is going to come and take Esau, eat him down. Oh, yeah. You know, his full, his full power. He's, he's yep. calling it Basra, which is Monday Basra right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like to bring out that that American. word means sheepfold. Okay? Mm -hmm. Which word? Sheep, uh, the word Basra okay. means sheepfold. And that, um, and you got to remember, the Lord requires a sacrifice. Yep. It doesn't it talk about a, a great sacrifice and eat him. Yep. Isaiah you know? Yep. So America, and it says in Isaiah yep. uh, 19 and 19, it talks about how there's going to be an altar in the midst of Egypt, right. which this place is known as spiritual uh, Sodom in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, uh, Revelation yep. 11 8. So th this is uh, where that great sacrifice is going to take place here in America. And just a side note, so you brothers know this, there was some information that I found out. Um, America has the most so-called white people in mm. any other land in the world. Mm. 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 Okay. So it makes sense that this that's is the place where, where that great destruction is going to happen. That's, that's it, bro. It's the, this is the place where the Lord is going to uh, make that sacrifice and eat them. That's right. That's it. Uh, that's Bring it out. That Hosea 12. Come. I got right. This Hosea 12 and verse 3 says, He took his brother by the heel in the womb, and by his strength he had power with Yahweh. Man. man. That's, that's the name. Yahshua. He's the prince of the power, man. Yeah. You that's know. Right. So it bags up what the brother just read in um, uh, um, Second, Second Ezra 6 and 7 through 9, man. By like grab the heel, he yanked Esau out of power, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. prophecy, man. Uh, um, do you still got more than that? Yes, sir. Genesis, right. Pop, push up. It up. This, uh, Genesis 25 and 26. And after that came his, his brother out. His hand took hold on Esau's heel. So we got scriptures bagging up what that means. What? And, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare, when she bare them. Yeah, and real quick, uh, Jacob's um, name means a, 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 a supplanter, to supplant. Oh. All right? Yeah, Which that, that, that's actually an omen omen because yeah. in Genesis 27... Is it 27 or 25? 25. 25. 20, 20. And you read down. It yeah, yeah. He's planning him with his birthright. Con, yeah. So that, that, that's a, 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 you know, a heavy um, heavy deal, man. A heavy omen omen. Yep. All right? You know, and Jake knows how to uh, talk. Jake knows how to hustle, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Guys, this is uh, Genesis. I'm going to get straight to the point. This is Genesis 27 <clears throat> through 36. I'm going to start at 35. It says in, um, start, fuck. Uh, this is uh, Genesis 27 to 34. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding grief. Nah, he's crying after he didn't give a fuck about the birthright and sold it. Go ahead. <laughs> exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father, bless me, even me also, my father. And he, 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 did, he surely did that. He blessed him. Yeah. Go ahead. And he said, "Like thy brother came with subtility." This is what he got today. Ooh. Yep, his brother. Oh yeah, prove it. <laughs> that was oh, Jacob. Me, he supplanted him. Yeah. And have taken away thy blessing. Mm. And he said, "Is he? Is he not? Is not he right? Rightly named Jacob, for he have supplanted me these sure. two times. Yep. He that took away fun. my birthright, and behold, now he have taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me?'" 
but just to back the brother up. You know, yeah, uh, you know, it's a normal, normal for supplanting. Yeah, keep keep reading the ark well, since you're in there. Got it. it says uh, verse 37, and Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord. So made the um the, the Israelites or Jacob a hey, your lord. No matter mm -hmm. no matter what, even though right now, yeah, you have the kingdom. Hey, we we're, we're still hey, 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 your gods, man. Yeah. That's All it. right, we're still we're still the kings of this earth. Hey, we're we're just in this lowest state, and it's funny you still gotta run to us for everything, in order for your uh, kingdom to uh, uh to flourish. That's it. Oh. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it makes perfect. And hey, somebody get uh, at y'all read scripture, read uh, Romans uh, nine. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay. You can, can, yeah can, 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 can you keep reading that Bible? Yeah. Shop? <clears throat> it says, and Isaac answered and said, Esau, behold, I have made. Him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, mm -hmm. and with corn and wine have I sustained him, and what shall I do now unto thee, uh, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Has thou one thou but one blessing? Mm -hmm. My father bless me, even me also, O oh my father, and Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Mm -hmm. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. And the dew of heaven from yeah. above. And, and that uh, the fatness of the earth is talking about basically the best, the best, okay, of this earth. We were talking about it. You know, they they, they, they have all the, you know, the vineyards in France, Italy, all right. They, they live in uh, uh, all these coastal towns like, you know, Malibu was a key, is key West Florida, right? You know, we were talking about Aspen, Colorado. Yeah. You know, all these beautiful Mount places. Malibu. Yep, Malibu, yep. Yeah. All these beautiful places, man, they got that. All right, and then they really that dual heaven, man. Um, it's really talking about like uh, uh, owning us, man. Because what does it talk about in um, in uh, Genesis, I believe, in uh, with um, stars, Joseph, how we're, we're, it talks about how uh, he saw the tr the tribes of stars. Yeah, they got us in captivity, which that's their actually their their their, their greatest gift, so to speak, because mm -hmm. we're the best of the best, bro. This society is, is run by us, man. You know exactly. what I'm saying? It went right. That's why. Hey man, you had uh, Mark Garvey. He was like, man, man, hey, why don't you Jake go back to Africa? All he saw was shut that down quick and sent his ass back to Jamaica. Exactly. So yeah, so he saw tip. He you got you got to understand this dude's a top dog for being full of shit. And he'll he'll tell you that uh, if you don't like it here, go back to Africa. First and foremost, we're not for Africa anyway. But then he's full of shit. He don't want you to go nowhere. Yeah, and it was it's yeah. funny. Uh, uh, there was this um. You know, those old, like, those black and white movies, man, he's all super racist, bro. Like, he, he didn't give a fuck. Good, and I like that shit, too, you yeah. red nigger. Oh, all yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You had John Wayne uh, cursing out this, I forget what she said, at the Oscars, cursing out this Native American woman, talking all matter of shit, racist shit, but on Will Smith's ass was smacking Chris Rock. Yeah. He was, see, see here, what, see there, Example of his hypocrisy right there. Yep, and, and but it, the reason why I bring that out, there's this clip that's been uh, kind of um, flowing around on social media, and uh, it's a uh, you know old movie. I'm not really sure. I think they were supposed to be in like uh, Arizona or something, but um, basically the the bitch was with her eating my man, and they were gonna try to uh, take this picture of this fucking uh, uh Iskra that was passed out drunk or some shit, and she was saying I, I forgot exactly what. They said, but she mentioned that he's a lazy Mexican. Or like, oh, the Mexicans are lazy. They said some shit like that. But that's so that they know that's a fucking lie because if they didn't have so-called Mexicans around, this whole society would just fucking collapse, bro. Like your roads wouldn't get done. All right, your your landscape wouldn't get done. Your fucking you know janitorial work wouldn't get done. Every fucking Mexican is in every goddamn restaurant. All right, being your bus boy, being your cook. But like you, you, your shit will fall apart, bro. That's just one tribe, mind you. Oh right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He saw, yeah, no. He deep down, he deep down, know he full of shit. Yeah. Like, saying the word, he saw just, he's just a fucking liar, man. He's a hater too. And a hater. Fucking faggot. He's a yeah, fucking liar, and, right? Exactly. Really? He's the yeah. top dog. Hey, you read the fatness? Yeah. Somebody get uh, Ezekiel thirty four sixteen real quick. How he got the fatness of the earth? But guess what? The Lord gonna take that away from you. Yeah. Um, this is Ezekiel 34. He's a hater because he envies Jake and he knows Jake is better than him, man. Yeah. So he got he got always lie to himself and say you nothing, man. Yeah. Yeah. And try to make fun of us, you know. Like you always bring it out. 
it, it's, it's talking about, you know, uh, the Southern Kingdom, uh, all they eat is watermelon and chicken. Well, guess what? That's the best fucking food for you. And then they uh, eat their damn self. Exactly. How are you going to make fun of somebody what they eat? You eat it your damn self. You know, oh, make, make fun of all, you know, all the different tribes for doing this and that, but hey, you're, you're listening to all our music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He saw you. Especially he, he, your women. Yeah, they want to black. He, he's women. the, man, this exactly. dude. He, he sucks everything, including shit talking, man. God, no. You go ahead, bro. Con. Yeah, yeah, but that's a good point that you mentioned that. Because they'll make fun of our hair, they'll mm-hmm. make fun of uh, uh, our skin tone, our lips, all this shit, bro. Make fun of the skin tone, but you, who's who's in a tanning bed? Right, right, who's right, in a right. tanning bed and out in the sun getting yeah, tanned? Get, get who's lip, first? Get yeah. lip fillers? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's funny because you have all these, because you mentioned it, these Jake bitches. They, they want a little black boy or a little Hispanic boy and shit. Because I've heard it, bro. Yeah. They, they, there was this one white bitch. Bro, she was um talking about how she just wants Latin fucking men because of their hair, bro. Literally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. When Esau, his ass can't have a baby, yep. his, his woman go and say, she, nah, she want a black sperm donor because she want a Bring black kid. Oh, uh, Nigger. It says uh, that their wives would not weep for them. Yeah. Yeah. When, time, when the time comes, you know. <laughs> they ain't with me now. Yeah, that would be now. And it's a green tree, so imagine that. <laughs> so lucky. Con, this Exodus, uh, uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 30, 34, verse 16, says, I will seek that which was lost. And talking about Israel, man. Mm-hmm. We lost our heritage. Mm-hmm. You know, go ahead. Con, it says, and bring again that which was driven away. Talking about the Israelites. And will bind up that which was broken. And will strengthen that which was sick. But I would right, just... Like, see, if you don't have this knowledge, you wouldn't understand. You're sick, man. Yep. That's right. You know, this word heals you. That's scripture say, man. Go ahead. Kind of says, but I will destroy the fat and, and the strong. Ooh. I will feed them with judgment. Man, Ooh. so Lord, so that's... You're going to lose the fatness of the earth real soon, man. Yep. That blessing was only temporary, Esau. Yeah. That blessing, Isaac blessed you. That's right. Hey, the triumph of the wicked is short. Mm-hmm. And but for a moment. That's, That's right. Mm-hmm. So the Lord said he's going to destroy the fat and strong. You got the fat and the earth. The Lord finna take that away from you, man. Yep. So, no matter how much. Who cares? He tell me, oh, man, I don't want to do. Who give? Lord don't care what you want to do. Mm-hmm. It's, all, it's all about. Lord said his thoughts are not your thoughts, man. That's we didn't want to go and slave none of you red dogs, but we had to do it. Yep. I got a free stuff to back you up, Elder Crowd. This yeah. is Hosea chapter 4. Just the one. Salakit, um, Micah 2, that's what it was, my bad. Um, this is uh, Micah chapter 2. I'm going to get straight to the point, verse 3. Therefore, I'll start at 1 just so you know, you know, get an understanding of what's going on. This is Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds, you Edomites. And we were talking about that. Or, well, no, no, Salakit, I was talking about it um, during um, a, uh, 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 my live stream when I was doing, a, what is it, uh, uh, in transit. Mm-hmm. I mentioned how these Edomites... They, they actually meet up, all right, you know, uh, all around the world, you know, in your local cities to, to how to oppress you and how to bring you down, man. Yeah, and they, they, use, they use distractions so people can be distracted with that while they meet up and, like I said, further oppress you, bring out their plans or how they establish a new world order, all that, man. While you distracted, well, with madness, they pushed out there, man. Yep, and it says... When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. Yeah, because, you know, scripture said they came to sleep lest they cause yeah, some to fall and, and bring mischief. Yeah. You got it, Con. Go ahead, bro. You want to bring it up? Oh, yeah, real quick. Yeah. Uh, Proverbs 4 and 16, for they sleep not except they have done mischief. Mm. When their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some He can't even good, good night sleep unless he done some wicked shit. Or ruin somebody's life or whatever, man. That's terrible, bro. This is who we're dealing with. That's why we always say that he's a goddamn psychopath. This yeah. is this guy's not right in the head. Who literally loses sleep if they don't do wickedness? That's yeah. that, that's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, and then they awesome. think so. <laughs> oh, I got it. Right. I'm gonna do it in the morning. Oh, and I can sleep with my thumb in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and then as it says, it's in the power of the hand. Yeah. And why is that? Because uh, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Yep. That's right. And we're we, we, um, did we finish that Genesis? Nah. Where it says what that the Lord is going to give, or um, that Isaac said that you're going to, you know, this is your fatness. blessing. Yeah, you're going to get fatness. the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven. Yeah. Meaning you have this earth. This is your kingdom now. You're running the show, but it's only for a, a, a moment. It's temporary. Yep. 
Nigger. Yeah, that's what you Jake got to mm-hmm. understand. So you envy yeah. what, what these people got, which I understand. Like, fuck, man. You, you, you get a little angry. Like, damn, man. You you ain't got shit. And this, this nigga got everything. But you got to remember, it's only temporary. And the Lord going to judge them the, the worst ever, man. Yes, they going to yeah. get the worst judgment ever, man. Yeah, fact. Con- Lord finna put this damn devil's candle out, man. It's light out, man. Yes. Con- Can I just bring this out? Just uh, back go ahead, bro. Con- this Psalm 73. Ooh. And uh, let's see. Psalm 73, verse 16. Now, this is speaking of the wicked. This is how uh, uh, Asaph felt about the wicked. Yeah, see, says, man, because I, I give you a story. When I was little, my old, this is when I was little. OG, take me in Beverly. With these, um, you know, you got the mansions, you know, the Christmas lights and stuff around Christmas time. Hey, how the deck? I'd be mad as hell, like, man, you showing me these big, these devil, these big ass houses. I ain't go back in the hood, right. look at roaches and shit. You see? Yeah, it's vaccinating. Like I told you, other crowd, yeah. like, um, cause I, I, I'll be, I, I'll be, a, bro, in top tier, you know, uh, even my areas, you know, what do you call fluent areas, you know, and, and I gotta see this shit, bro. Mansions on the lake, uh, you know, they, they got everybody serving them. They're they're jogging, having a good old time. They don't even work, bro. Their work is just making a, a couple phone calls, business deals, and they just made, you know, you know, uh, I don't know, $100,000, $200,000. That's a low end, mind you. That's low end still. Oh, yeah, man. You like, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what they do. They don't even do anything, man. Yeah, they, they, it gets, yeah. you know, you, 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 sometimes you just be like, these motherfuckers, and you get that, you know, the envious spirit, but then you got to, you know, check yourself and remember you know, the scriptures. Remember the scriptures yeah. say they, you know, uh, this is above for the. Um, the hypocrites times but for a moment yeah. you know mm-hmm. it talks about in Job that they're gonna vomit out those riches they swallow yeah. down yeah that's why the scriptures say it should be not stability of their times mm-hmm. you know you can apply that to now man yeah you know keep you from losing your damn mind man yeah you damn yeah. they want to go on a goddamn you know hunting spree so to speak yeah. I, you don't say it like that yeah like you oh, said yeah. man they ain't doing shit they can get to get up jog and shit exercise while jake they ain't got time to do shit, man. No, they ain't scrambling. Right. Shit, right. if you jogging in the hood, your ass might get stopped by the fucking police or blow down by another nigga. Shit, exactly, bro. bro. You can't jog in your own shit. neighborhood. But he's talking, dude. You jogging in your neighborhood. Ain't no you fucking niggas ain't gonna bother Esau. Oh, no, no. He can jog. Just la 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 la. He ain't gotta worry about nobody fucking with him. Yeah. He is not in trouble like other men. Yeah. Kind of Psalm 73 and verse 16. When I thought to know well, this. He checks out your mind for him to stay here. Yeah. Why would you want to stay here after all the shit we mentioned, man? Man, you, you, that's why Lord, Lord, like I told you, Lord, like guess what? Okay, since you love this place so much, guess that's what I'm gonna do for you. You are gonna stay here and die with these people, these fucking devils. Yeah, yeah, How about that, bro? Man? They're just like uh, in Django, who is that? Calvin. <laughs> yeah, he went down with the yeah, house. yeah, yeah. He went down with the house, bro. He was so infatuated in love with his master that he couldn't believe it when he was, you know, dead. Exactly. Calvin, that's that's you, James, bro. Hey, Esau. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. you know, uh, fucking Jim Fox character mocked his ass. He like, man, you seen all matter shit done to niggas, but you ain't mentioned the kneecaps. You shot me in the kneecaps. This is something new, nigga. This is something new, nigga. Yep. So, fuck it. That's the, but that's the spirit that Jake has on him, bro. The, the man. You, yeah, the scriptures say our people will be plagued with madness, mm-hmm. smitten yeah. with madness. And that, that ain't no joke, bro. Yeah. Be in love with the, the, the oppressor. The, there is something right. mentally wrong with you. Yep. Exactly. Like, dying their head, wearing a yes. wig. Oh, oh, man, yeah. I mentioned this nigga. Bleaching you want to be an yeah. E-Mite so bad. How the hell do you have a dad five, 5 o'clock chapel, man? That's bugged out. <laughs> <laughs> you can do some shit like That's this. That's crazy. Hey, shit, this, this is crazy. I've been seeing yeah. this lately. They got this new, um, That's crazy. This new technology <laughs> where they can actually change your eye color. Yeah, and it's like some weird like lasers. The they tattooing them too now. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. so they'll tattoo their eyes like these weird like blue colors and green oh, colors. Yeah. No, they're they're bugged out, man. Yeah. Nick woman did that. She went blind. Good. Oh, yeah. Bring it out, preach. <laughs> they'll, they'll stretch their ears and shit. Like what the hell? That really go back to Ham. Ham yeah. didn't do that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the lips. Yeah. 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 Sick, that's bro. that's fucking. Ham, it's them niggas. Fucking yeah. skulls and all types of stuff. That's some Ham shit. Yeah. <laughs> Like, man, y'all ass the hell out, bro. You know. Con. This Psalm 73 and verse 16. 
when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh, mm -hmm. then understood I therein. A little sanctuary. I mean, I mean that script is a little sanctuary, so yeah. So Sit. not now. You went to the sanctuary, Lord. You understood the truth. Mm -hmm. Now you understand that they blessed was only temporary. Mm -hmm. Nothing to worry about. That they only got this for a short period of time. Man. Yeah, that's right. It says surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Mm -hmm. Thou castest them down into destruction. Ooh. So that's what's coming to Esau Edom, uh, ultimately a destruction, fire and brimstone uh, upon mm -hmm. his kingdom. All right, and, and nothingness is going to be in this place, man. You know, it's, it's going to be a one big old desert land, as you read in Isaiah the thirty fourth chapter. You know, it says that their, their palaces is going to be replaced with a uh, uh, bramble. You know, like those little tumbleweeds you fly you flying through the uh, yeah, yeah. you know through the desert and shit, man. Yeah. That's that's what Esau Edom's uh, end is going to be. Nothingness or ruin. They say I'll lay them up for the dragons of the wilderness. Yep. That's it, man. Yeah, and Esau deep down, the, the elites, at least they deep down. Hey, because um, uh, El Uri, this picture, this one we teach downtown. He had, I don't, I'm quite sure he still got the picture of Duck Tales, which uh, screwed my duck. That, that one represents the rock child. Yeah. That's, this dude was swimming in riches. He's swimming in the gold and stuff, the riches, but it was a clock on the wall. He he was looking at the clock while he was yeah. in the riches with a worry look on his face. Mm -hmm. Meaning like, damn man, I only got a short time to enjoy this. Oh. Yeah. Con. Yeah. Con just one more. It says, verse 19, how are they brought into desolation as in a moment? Whew. Right? And the Lord said that he go destroy this place in one hour. Yeah. One hour this place is gonna be destroyed, man. So uh, this this little time Esau been ruling, that's nothing. That's nothing compared to eternity, man. Yeah, yeah, because was like five hundred. That, that's not even a day to the Lord, man. Yeah, the script said a thousand years is a but is a day to the Lord, man. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the Lord's time don't operate like our time. It yeah. might seem like a long time to us, but a short time to the Lord, man. Yeah, and I, I think it's a it's a precept in the park for that says that um. So, um yeah. It well, talks about how the thousand years is it's a gravel stone. And shit. I, oh, I got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is a Sirach eighteen and ten. As a drop of water unto the sea, and a gravel stone in comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. So, I mean, you know, you know a, like a drop in a wave even, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you, you can visually see that. It's, you, you can't compare that, you know what I'm saying? Like a small drop to a wave. I think the biggest wave ever recorded was just hey, over 600 feet. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got something to sell. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, who's that? I don't know. Oh. That's, 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 uh, but, uh... Um, I thought it was the other dude. Yeah, how, what, how does all the Yaku say it? Wickedness has its, its time. It's time. time and, and righteousness has its eternity. Eternity, eternity. That's right. You know? Yeah. Right. Say that righteousness is uh, immortal. It, yeah. Yep, it is. And that's why it's good to be allied with wisdom. <laughs> like, you know? This is, um... Back in Micah 2, and 2 now, and they covet fields, and they take them by violence, which, hey, they, they, did we get the blessing of uh, Esau with the sword yet? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, keep reading. Read that, and then uh, I'm going to finish this. Yeah, Bob, exactly. go to that real quick. Genesis 20, 27 and 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by the sword shall thou live and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And so it talks about that sword, thou shalt live. And that, that links up with this, and they cover fields and take them by violence. How, how, how do you take somebody's, you know, you know, their things? Uh, you kill them, you know? Use that weapon to, 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 to eliminate them. Yeah. All right? You yeah. see? And then you got fucking Esau, Jake Golden. Wicked as hell. Jake yeah. Golden store, they follow him. Following them all, even if you don't steal nothing, this nigga will still follow you all the way till you leave the fucking door, man. Yep. You gonna see all them, see the metal detective went off or whatever, man. You know damn well, you think, hey, you were the last person to talk about somebody stealing. You stole whole countries, right, from people, yeah. man. You ain't got shit to say, you fucking devil, Ooh, you red yeah. bitch ass devil. Lights having ass bitch. Go ahead, bro. Can I back you up. This is Matthew eleven and twelve. Stand these fucking devil. 
Right. Matthew 11 and 12, and from the days of John the Baptist unto now, mm. the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. Ooh, that's what he saw. That's he saw all day. You know what I mean? That's his blessing as a sword. Yeah. You know? He that's pursued how he, us with it, you know? That's how he's going to get everything, by through violence. Man. Yeah. By stealing it. Taking yeah. it. And they're going back there, Micah 2 and 2, and they covet fields. Yep. And take them they, and they, they like what? Give resources, the beauty of the land. Mm -hmm. Start coveting after that. That's it, man. And they you take. Yeah, you the last person to talk about somebody's thief. Yeah, you well. fucking devil. So they <laughs> take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house. Hey, man, I they, know you don't like me. I don't give a fuck, devil. I don't care. That's right. Because either way, you ain't going to like us anyway, man. I don't so like why would I give a fuck? I, I don't like you either. I hate you more. Yep. It says, so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. And going back to what you said, Elder, hey, you're the biggest thief. The elders mentioning, um, you know, Lance, you stole uh, an identity. And then and, and you got the nerve to talk about identity theft in, in, in the United States. You're, you're the one who, who stole uh, our identity, calling yourself uh, a nationality that you're not. Exactly. Devil. That's some and weird it, bitch shit. That's, some, that's bitch shit, and that's weird, bro. You're just a fucking creep, bro. A real sh just fucking creeper, man. He, he telling you that the, the real small hatters are, this nigga a, a fucking put shit in his hair to make it like an afro, man. You know damn well your hair don't grow like that, man. Fucking punk. Fucking Amalek, man. You guys, man. And it, man, but uh, 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 back in Micah 2, and this is verse 3 now. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, against this family do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go heartily, for this time is evil. And that was to back you up earlier, Elder. Uh, you made a point saying that basically that, uh, um, that they can't get away from that judgment that's coming. Yeah. I forgot how exactly you worded it, uh -huh. and I wanted to back you up with that. Yeah. It said right there, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, against this family, so it's a, it ain't just one person. It's the whole family, the whole That's nation. Right. All right? right? Do I devise an evil? Mm. Yeah, evil meaning a bad time for you. Can you get James 2 and 13? Exactly. And this is why the, your bad time is coming. It says, From which ye shall not remove your necks. That means you can't get away from it. You can't escape. That's it, bro. It's on you. That's yeah. it, bro. Hey, man. So, that apply. You. That applies to you too. You reap what you sow, man. Damn, that was right. Yeah, like you, you, you want to. Oh man, you do the crime. You, you gotta, gotta do, do the time. Oh, we come out of everybody else, but we come. I'm just special. I, I gotta get away with everything. No, right. It don't work that way, man. It was in the past. Yeah, it was in the past, but you don't let go of shit though. Yeah. You Nine went, eleven. Right. Yeah. Right. So I, uh, Never uh, forget Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Right. The Holocaust. That's their favorite one. No. Yeah. The fucking Holocaust, bro. Yeah. Story. You don't never so, get away with shit, man. <laughs> We'll never forget, forgive or forget. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. tell that to Jake all the time. They both forgive, forget. And he did. It's 2024. Right. Right. They still talk talking about, oh, oh yeah, this is a Holocaust survivor. Bro, they, they, they motherfuckers are damn near <laughs> fucking hungry now, bro. Exactly, bro. Like, you're still pushing that fucking, you know, that, that, that narrative of this shit? Right. Yeah. I was on the set. Yeah. Right, yeah. he's an actor. Right. Whoa. Right. Yeah. yeah, man. Like, like, they going to live to 150? Yeah, man. Like, you got fucking yeah, Jake. You, you going to tell him to forgive, forget. Motherfucker, you still oppressing him to this day. You ain't stop. Right. Yeah. You see? We can bring out what he did today is that still going to get the judge. Exactly. He's going to be wicked as hell. In one, in one day, what he, do, what he done did to Jake. Yeah. Let alone all the shit he done did to now. Exactly. Huh. You say you want James? Uh, yeah, 2 and 13, real quick. This, this is James 2 and verse 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. So, exactly. Since you didn't want to show mercy, all right, to our people, you're going to receive no mercy. This is why you're going to have the worst hell or captivity, whatever you want to call it, known to mankind. That's right. Good. That's right. And it's going to end with your extermination. Say the water to you, how about you, Because you don't oh, need to be God. wiped off. You have fucking cancer, bro. Yeah. Hey, the physician's coming to cut off that that, that, that long disease, man. Yeah. Yep. That's your was shot, man. He's he's gonna fucking annihilate the cancer of the earth. The water to you, how about you, man? Hey, man. Read uh, Isaiah fourteen. Got it. You got it, Damn, oh, boy. Hot boy. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's the book no. of Isaiah chapter fourteen. Oh, I like y'all stop, man. <laughs> Hey, you go ahead, brother. I'll stop you right there, man. Whatever you meant to something, he got it for you. you well, ahead, Rich. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Slaughter for his children 
for the iniquity of okay. their father. Matter of fact, start at uh five. What yes. five say? Yes. You got to start there because Lord say when you break the staff of the wicked, yep. it's going to be peace on earth. Everybody's going to rejoice. That's right. Bring forth to singing. Yeah. It's the book of Isaiah mm -hmm. chapter 14. Verse 5, the Lord Yahweh hath broken the staff of the wicked mm. and the scepter of the rulers. That's what king carries, a, a scepter, man. So the Lord for great oh. take the power away from you damn devils, man. Yeah. Can you, you cite verse 4? Uh, right. Just the oh, no, that's all good. Go ahead, brother. Nah. <laughs> verse 6, who verse smoke four, these four, people? Four, four, four. Come, come, come. Sorry, four, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse 4, yep. that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon right. and say, how hath the oppressor ceased? The king of Babylon, Esau, even right now. That's right, bro. Go ahead. So-called white people, man. For the, for new viewers. That's who Esau even is. These so-called white people. They're not white. They're red. That's right. That's go ahead. The Lord Yahweh has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. And that's all he's done and still doing, man. Right. You're oppressing people, man. Everybody yeah. on earth. That's it. Especially by the ways of America bombing this country and that country, going to this country, and opposing, you know, opposing the ways of America, his ways, upon, you know, this nation and that nation, forcing them, you know, to, you know, to do homosexuality, for example, all right, religion, all types of blasphemies. Yeah, when the wicked are in rule, uh, the people mourn. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. First, six who smote the people in wrath with a continuous throat. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hinder. Well, you're going to get what you sown, man. Yep. Yeah. You see? That's like, all you've been sowing. You've been oppressing everybody. Been doing all matter of wickedness, oppressing people, people especially the Lord's people. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. guess what? Yeah. You're going to get you're gonna get that back in return, man. That's right. Go ahead. The whole earth is at rest. So when you get the boot out of the ruler's seat, the whole earth is going to be at rest. Yep. That's gonna be that that cancer's gone, man. Yeah. Yep. Now the now the body's healthy again, man. Go ahead. And it's quiet. They break forth into singing. Ooh, we be singing. Hey, scripture say the wicked's gonna dance in the as in Psalms, the wicked's gonna dance and rejoice blood. and dance in the blood of the wicked. There's the righteous. The righteous, the righteous. The righteous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Psalms water, brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that uh, Psalms 58? 58, 58, yeah. yeah. The water, brother. You know, the slip of the speech yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's, it's saying Proverbs when the wicked go down there and shouting. Ooh. Uh, so when Esau go down, niggas, niggas gonna be rejoicing, man. That, <laughs> look what the fuck he doing. Man, he can't breathe air, right? No. You can't have a virgin. Your bitch gotta have 250 plus bodies at 21. Yeah, and then he got the, uh, <laughs> he got, he's destroyed the relationship between man and woman. Oh, this yeah. guy's out there who can't even get no vagina. And if they try man. to go get a prostitute, oh, that's illegal. You can't yep. even do that. Fuck he this me. nigga up cracking down on guys uh, relate uh, having um dealings with between a man and woman. This nigga cracking down on that, yeah. man. Shit, Wait, bro, they uh remember during COVID, yeah. they wanted you to have like a like a fucking wall in between you and yeah. your when your woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, literally that was that, that was put crazy. out there, bro. You had to have some type of divider between you and your woman, bro. Yeah. This shit is mad. This, this, this guy's a fucking bug out. He wants you to to, to, to get a blow up now. Yeah, that's or that's your wife. Oh yeah, yeah. or or Amy, deal deal. Amy's your wife right here. Or deal with another man or a trainee, whatever. Oh, what he don't want you dealing with no woman. Like I say, he wants you to deal with a blow up dial, a sex dial, or another man or a transgender. They, they want you to throw on that, that VR set. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. I was thinking yeah. about that demolition man. Yeah, yeah, demolition man. They yeah. showed that you in um. Minority Report. Yeah. Remember they were in that in the room. He's all checking shit out. And dude's like, hey! And he's all fucking uh, <laughs> so virtual <laughs> box. <laughs> that fucking from that virtual box. Hey, that's fucking a robot. Yeah, that shit was <laughs> funny too, <laughs> man. Hey, um, what was, it, Sam, what was it? Sandra Bullock and um, Sylvester Stallone? She was like, you want to have sex? She was like, right, sure. Right. Then the man was happy and shit. Like, man, yeah. Then she come out with this she virtual did. shit. He was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> he was like, she like, we having sex. He was like, that's what you call this shit? <laughs> you know, and then he was getting the tickets. Yeah. He was saying shit. Fuck. Yeah. Ass. They kept giving them fines. That's how it is right now, bro. They were showing you what they wanted to do. Anything you say, all right, anything you do is going to be taxed and then fined, bro. Exactly. Now, fuck you, man. That's why in the kingdom, bro, like, hey, we're putting a mask on your fucking face. Yeah, Fauci. 
You faggot. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's right. Well, that shit's gonna be fucking sewn into your fucking That's face. Hey, what was, was mad? Was that a uh, Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> movie? He told us yeah. is the evil twin. They gonna wear that mad to you. Love it. Man, mm-hmm. and the Iron Man. Man, and Iron Man. He like. Mm-hmm. He tell him the other brother because he's the the wick. That, that ain't nothing but Jacob Esau. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all that shit. He's like, man, you gonna wear this mask till you love it. Oh, that's what we're gonna do to you, man. Uh, we're just gonna, bro. Like, you, you're gonna be have a hard time finding water. <coughs> yep. You, you, you're good. You're gonna be wishing that you were fucking dead every day. Yeah. Well, well, you know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Uh, no, you can't drink out of this water, you red nigger. Yeah. This, this is for the Israelites, man. Same you gonna have your own water with dirt. All types of filth, piranhas in there. So like, you, yeah. you, like, bro, you, like, bro, I'm thirsty, man. Oh, shit. Let's see how much water you can sip before you get your lips bit. Not my yeah, fault, nigga. Right, yeah. yeah. yeah Sounds like a change. personal problem to me, right? Yeah. yeah. Sounds like you a know? problem. Sounds <laughs> like a fucking like, personal problem. Go yeah. figure it out. Right. You know, right. hey, fuck, fuck you, Edomites, man. Yep. Fuck right. you, hey. And that goes into that parable with the, um, Lazarus and, yeah. the, and, and the rich man. Yeah, that's right. All right, you don't want to, you know, going back to that James two and thirteen. You don't want to show mercy, so you're not gonna get in the kingdom. Don't expect nope. us to to, to 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 even give you a little fucking cold, cold glass of water yeah. on that hot day. Yep, exactly. Nope. Like I said, figure it out. You got your water found with the piranhas and shit. Exactly. There you go. Look, exactly. man, it's not my fault that it's a hundred miles out the way. Yeah. Exactly. Figure it out. That's it. And you gotta, gotta walk you. with a broken, two broken fucking legs. Bad yeah, way. That fucking mask on. Since you love fucking making people wear masks so goddamn much, right. you sick fuck. Hannibal Lecter. You got that handy right there, that <laughs> Hannibal Lecter <laughs> shit. And she, 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 motherfuckers in jail, bro. That they got them all fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, tied yeah. up and shit. Got a fucking <laughs> Hannibal Lecter mask on. Got a right, fucking exactly. goddamn whatever that shit is. A fucking uh, uh, netting around their oh, face. Oh, yeah, yeah, calm. Her head. Yeah. Fuck you, man. Yeah. But then the school, see, this is why the dude is a piece of shit, and we know he don't follow his own shit. <laughs> but the, what does it say? It talks about cruel and unusual punishments right. in their own constitution. You're telling me that's not cruel and unusual? Right. What the fuck is this shit, bro? Yeah, exactly. Fuck you, man. Shit, 25 yeah. years sentences are yeah. cruel. Yeah. Bro, they, 25? How about <coughs> fucking four years? Four year life, life sentence with two, 500 years. Man, right. Right. Five years. And then the guy, <laughs> then, the guy, <laughs> then guys are serving that, that didn't yeah. even do nothing. They innocent. Okay. Right, right, bro. Right. Like, it's just one dude, he served like 30 years and found out he ain't even do it. He get out, he Jake happy as hell and shit. Like, nigga, what the fuck you happy about? And then he saw so wicked. They, they they know they don't have the right guy. They know this guy didn't do it. So yeah. they they yell at him and do all matter of shit to oppress him and to confess him to something he didn't do, man. Especially yeah. back in the day, man. Yeah. When they didn't have cameras and all that. Yeah. Man. Everything like pre two thousand ish. Come on, bro. Jake was just saying, yeah, yeah, I did it, so they didn't get fucking a uh, goddamn uh, nightstick put in their fucking ass. Hey, hey the. Their fucking eyeballs, damn, they're hanging out of their fucking eye socket. <laughs> you, you did it, didn't you? I know it was you. It was me. His fucking his eyes about to fucking pop out and shit. They did that, yeah, that, that, that real confession. That no, of course he's gonna say it. He's about to fucking die, man. Right. Exactly, man. And fucking then that was no damn what. They ain't got the right guy. But he don't give a fuck. Uh, he solved the case, though. Yeah, he don't give a fuck. Oh, it's a nigger. Another nigger in jail. That's all we want. Mm-hmm. Yep. Even Tupac said that shit wasn't that one song, man. It was, uh. Huh? <laughs> you know, it, it talks about uh, you kill a nigga and he's a hero. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's literally, man. Especially back in the day, man. They, they, they'll get promoted for that shit. Oh, you beat Rodney Changes. King up? Good job, nigger. Yeah. You Good job. You, good job. You killed another nigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they had fucking postcards. The hangings, the devils yeah. smiling, posing. And then, oh man, that was a good pic, man. It was a picture of, of Jake being home, man. Without sanctuary. Yeah. You see? Damn devil. Having a, a nice little pic, which means picking, nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what all that means, man. And all this shit, man, when you, you know, it's got a, it's, it's a dark undertone to it, man. Hey, the, uh, the apostle <laughs> brought out what good morning really means. Uh, I didn't hear this one. No. Oh. The ain't brother, you know, brother seen it. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Duh. Oh, wow. That shit is crazy. Yeah, so Matthew, before, right? Yeah, yeah. It was the the Tuesday. Uh, sit. Uh, you know the the elder Live, the old, yeah, yeah. going to history. Damn. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get that clip. I'm gonna uh, post it. I'm gonna grab that particular part when he said I'm. I posted in orders. Yeah, shit. Mm-hmm. You, you just I didn't know that one. You had uh, yeah. Jingle Bells. Yeah. Goes back to uh, Jake. Hey, you know, 
the, the runaway slave. So what they did yeah. uh, was, okay, yeah. you, you want to run away? We're going to put this fucking... I don't even know what the hell you want to call it, yeah, bro. It's a like yoke of a yeah. yoke yeah. Bells, right. And then put, yeah, bells, and that's where Jingle Bells come from. Because yeah. if he gets he's too wrong. far, you know, oh, he, he's he's trying yeah. to escape. And the hounds could hear him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Even the ice cream, the ice cream truck song, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Go back to, uh, uh, it's a, it's a, you got a whole fucking song to it, man. You know, a hey, nigga, yeah, and, you know, hey. Yeah, yeah Khan, okay, yeah. Us, Khan, that's how. Us, well, guess what, us? Knowing the truth and follow it, it's like you're a runaway slave. That's what the script, yeah, script to tell yeah. you, um, yeah. and Isaiah, the day that escape, because oh, like because script said, the truth should set you free, man. Yeah. Right? You said you know, So it's, it's just like you're yeah, running you're away, running. you're running yeah. away, man. He hates it, and that's why going with the other crowd who likes to bring this out in Revelation 12, mm -hmm. I think was his 17, it talks about how uh, she was brought <coughs> with the woman. Yeah. All right, oh, because you want uh, to make war. Yeah, you make war with her because she did what? She kept the the the, the command, commandments of Yahweh and has the testimony of Yahweh Shai. You gotta remember that. Hey, we're testifying right now. All right, hey, we're those two witnesses saying. If what does the scripture say about um, you know, basically when you accuse somebody, you have to have what two or three witnesses. We're, we're the north. Yep, yeah, well, we're the two witnesses, the northern and the southern kingdom, saying, look, this is the bad guy. He did X, Y, Z things. Yep. You know. And they're losing their fucking marbles, bro, because now the fugitive, the vagabond, is getting pointed out and saying that, no, he, he's the real criminal. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Right. So fucking tired of this fucking piece of shit, Salaki, man. Then you should start thinking about this shit, bro. And then you gotta really picture yourself really in those time areas when they were doing this shit, bro. Yeah. Even what they do now, but like, you know, back in the day, they were really given the power to really... Do fucking gruesome shit to us and our fucking families, bro. Imagine a fucking little boy, bro, getting fucking sodomized by these fuckers, man. Why are you watching me? You tired? Man, bro, I'm going to fucking destroy you in the kingdom, man. Whoever right. the fuck you are, and man. And you know what? For us to have a sane mind, Lord, wipe that 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 mind, yeah. our mind clean slate when you, you brought us back, man. Because yeah. prophecy won't be, man. We, man, you'll lose man. your fucking mind. Yeah, it'd be hard to wait on Lord if you knew exactly yeah, all you yeah. went through in your past life. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. 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 It's it's a uh, um, uh, a character on, on the uh, the show Invincible. Uh, you know the Omni Man, the Omni Man show. His name uh, the Immortal, and Omni Man end up killing him, but he's immortal, so he can keep coming back to life. Yeah. And every time he come back to life, he always try to fucking kill Omni Man because he remember what he did to him. Oh man, they showed that in Twilight Zone, man. Uh, Twice on is these two guys. They own the restaurant. And the second command killed the the, 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 the the top owner and laid through his body in the alley. But he had these Italian shoes, and then you know it was the alley we had homeless person, homeless people. And this homeless dude, when he put the shoes on, he became that person. Yeah, when yeah, that guy yeah, killed yeah, him. Yeah. So he knew, like I said, you know, if we knew what this devil did, you man, you'll be. Going after this guy, man. Yeah. And that's what was that. He remember what he did. He went after him. Con. You know. He almost got him the second time. And he told him before he died, like, I'm going to keep coming back until I get your ass, man. Con. You know. It's cooking in this room. It's, it's a little you know, toasty in here. Yeah, man, it's toasty. You know what? Before you <laughs> all, uh, before you all leave, then I, I can suborn the brother to go get that uh, AC from the basement, so we can not. I don't. I don't. We don't want to prove Nate right that this hell on our earth. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a lie. Yeah. I, I just walked in and I'm starting to sweat. Shalom to those on the comic boards. Shalom. Do you have any other scriptures? Yeah. I still have to Isaiah chapter 14. Wait, All right. Book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse yeah, 7. Up, yeah. The whole earth is at rest yeah. and is quiet. They break forth mm -hmm. into singing. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon saying, Since thou art laid down, no fella is come up against us. Mm -hmm. Hell from beneath. Yeah, even the trees won't be happy. Because this dude just, he just knocks everything down, cuts it down. Yep. He yep. doesn't have any honor, bro. Damn. Doesn't respect anything. This this dude's a fucking madman. Yeah. This dude will wipe out a fucking entire you know plot of fucking land, right? You see all the trees, and he just say, "Fuck it, bro. I need to get a couple minerals from here." 
Need to give me some gold real quick. Yeah. Let, yeah. let me just destroy this whole fucking ecosystem. It's about, you know, 30, 40, 50 miles, but it's fucking, man. It's over there. Know, Jay's community just built the stadium. <laughs> yeah, the highways and shit. Yeah. Or a pond. Well, scripts say he's gonna destroy them that destroy the earth. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's what you got to look forward to, man. You know, hey, we don't give a fuck. Hey, Lord, also, more importantly, the Lord, don't give a fuck you. You don't believe it or not? Of course you're not, cause it's talking about you. <laughs> of course we not gonna believe. Guess what? They ain't stopping it from being reality. That's right. The scriptures say, "Well, some do not believe." Should yeah. help. So Lord ain't messed up just cause you don't believe it, man. Lord don't give a fuck. He's still gonna do. What was written in the scriptures? What he said he's gonna do, man. And part of that is fucking making your ass pay, man. That's right. Go ahead. Verse nine. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. Oh man, since you been raising hell on earth, you you you're gonna dish out what you've been putting forth, man. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even at the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nation. I can't wait to read this next verse. Go ahead, brother. Verse 10. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Yes, yeah, so the Lord going to bring you way low, man. To the bottom. Go ahead. The pump is brought down to your the grave. Gonna be, that, I always say it's the worst. This nigga is prideful as hell. And that's the Lord set them up beautifully. The worst thing you do to somebody is crush their pride. And that's what the Lord yeah. finna do you damn devils, man. You know, I think you said not so. You're never the same again once your pride is crushed, man. Yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you see, you see that with a lot of boxes, you know, yeah. they they lose, get beat up real bad. And they, man, I, I never fight again. The coach yeah. can't even get them put their head up and shit, you know, because at one point in time, they thought that they was the man, but... Somebody else come in and show you, it's always somebody better. Oh, man, what the fuck that uh, chick, Ronda Rousey? Mm-hmm. Uh, she, yeah. Once she lost, she police stopped doing it. You. She yeah, wants to get WWE. Yeah, finish, man. There ain't nothing like crushing somebody's pride, man. And man, that's what the Lord going to do, you damn devils, you Edomites. That's right. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 11. Thy pump is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee. And the words cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Yeah, all that you know, means light bearer, man. Yup. Talking about Esau. Go ahead. How art thou cut down to the ground in which didst weaken the nation? This is getting ready to happen to you, Edomites. That's right. All right. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Mm-hmm. Yet thou yeah, shalt. That God complex. This nigga thinks he's God, man. And the Lord going to show you the hard way. You ain't nothing but a man, man. That's right. right. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Mm-hmm. Yet, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. To the size of the pit. The hell, it means the condition playing earth. The kingdom of heaven is going to be you damn devil's hell, man. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that thing. I was in the kingdom of heaven. What, what did she say? Oh, <laughs> oh <shit. laughs> this shit is funny. Yeah. She's like, I hope I see you in heaven. I was like, your dream going to come true. I'm going to have that whip. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14. Verse 16, that they see thee shall never look upon thee. Oh, man, that shit was funny, man. She was getting cut so bad. She like, man, she like, I, I actually got to go. He like, I know you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when he said, hey, she, she, was, she told me she paid like $100,000 yeah. for that fucking the, the, the theology degree. He's like, you learn more. In 15 minutes up here, then he was learning four years in theology right, school. Like, you like, should have gave that money to me. Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, like, you didn't learn a damn thing at the school. Oh, shit. <laughs> nah, shit. He didn't, she, she didn't. She didn't learn shit. She couldn't even answer simple questions, man. Yeah. He's like, man, you spent all that money. You don't even know <laughs> the true image what, what Jesus looked like, man. Damn. Crazy. She probably still paying that back, too. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she is good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Who's fault that but yours? That's right. Yeah. That's why. That's why apostles call it a, the- a theologic cemetery. You know, 
It's, it's fucking dead up in there, man. Ain't no knowledge in there. Exactly. No life whatsoever. That's yeah, right. man. Esau. We know what Esau does. Even if you find out certain things, oh, it's Tom Ellis. He ain't go. Oh, no. I ain't. You know, he knows. Oh, no, I ain't it. Because it's talking about his ass. Now it's, now it's parabolic. No, this shit is straight <laughs> to the point. Exactly. It means what it says, bro. That's because you don't like it and it cuts you. Now I ain't talking about that. That's spiritual. That's spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers. <laughs> These motherfuckers, man. They, they, that was it on that, um, y'all side. Verse 16, that they see, that they see thee shut. Anybody got any last scripture, upon, we're going to put shut down. Look upon thee and mm-hmm. consider thee. This is when we go straight to the point. I was about to get earlier. Yeah, you read down 21. All right, this is the book of Genesis chapter, not Genesis. This is the book Genesis. of Isaiah oh. chapter 14. Yes, Verse 16, that they see thee shall they look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, mm-hmm. that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof? I remember the apostle like, man, you're going to be such in a low state, it's going to be unbelievable that you was once yeah. on in power wreaking havoc on earth, man. Mm. You're going to be so mm. low, uh, you're just going to be so fucking low, man, getting your ass kicked. <clears throat> 24-6, man. Matter of fact, you ain't with George Bach, cause we're going to be side, high foot side was up your ass so deep for them six days. <laughs> you know, you're going to be trying to recover. Exactly. You're still going to be going through this shit. Ain't no pains and shit. Possible. I remember Pops Tower, he did. Pops Tower was mad, man. You tell he was mad at Esau, boy. He was like, man, you decide to make your ass work six days straight, no break, you're going to do it. That's right, nigga. That's right. Bread, <laughs> nigga. Go ahead, bro. All right, that you, ain't gonna have, you ain't gonna get no mercy. It's no only mercy. fair because you showed no mercy, no man. Mercy. The opening, not the house of his prisoners. Exactly. Yep. All the kings of the earth. And Esau knows this is coming to him. That's why he trying his hardest <laughs> to fight, so he won't have to go through this. But guess what, man? It's written in the scriptures. It's written in the scriptures. Going to happen, man. You're getting right, around here, man. It's like in the Matrix that we brought this off Saturday, and really. The inevitability. Inevitability, yeah. yeah. You can't run from it, bro. Even that, comedian, even that comedian said it, man. Man, bro, we, we gonna be so fucked when these motherfuckers... Well, I forget that comedian. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, he's like, damn, man. Can't think of his name. No. Yeah, yeah, he's like, man, you know, when they when it come time for them to pay us back, man, we gonna be fucked, man. You know what he said? It's, it's, it's an uh, anime character. It's an anime like this. It's one character, he had a power where he can predict Basically, to change the outcome, like the nigga from the punch in the face, he it's a book that he got. It say turn left, and he had dodged the motherfucker. But he ran to the main character. Then he he came to the book and said, "You're finna die." He opened, he changed the book and said, "You're finna die." It's like you're finna die. You're, he couldn't change it. It was an error that that nigga finna kill you. Yeah. It's no, it, you can't change the result. He saw me. Well, what if I had it for you? What if I GMO the food? What if I what if I do this? What if I do? Nigga, you still going to slavery, man. You can't exactly. change it. It was what if I, what if I finesse the Lord? You can't like he created you for you can't finesse the Lord. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's what he always try to do, man. I don't believe in it. Right. What if I believe? The Lord don't care. What yeah. some do not believe. Yeah. Hey, yeah. somebody grab that real quick. Huh. Let's, let's finish that off, y'all stop. It don't matter what you believe, man. That's you think the Lord is all messed up in heaven. Oh damn, I guess I can't do what I say I'm gonna do just because Esau don't believe it. Fuck out of that. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 14. Verse 18, all of the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, everyone in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abundable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain, thrust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under his trodden under foot feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou has destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Mm. <laughs> Verse 21, prepare slaughter for his children, yep. for the iniquity of so what's their the Lord, fathers. What's the Lord take you down this time? You're never rising again, man. That's right. You're finished, man. We read the scripture, you know? Esau's the end of the world, yep. Jack. So this is your last time to rule, man. Yep. Once the Lord says it's over with, it's over for you damn devils for good. Man. Yeah. Go ahead. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for the children. Prepare slaughter for his children, 
for the iniquity of their fathers. Ooh, this scripture cuts these devils. Oh, that wasn't me. That was my forefathers. Well, guess what? Say you're gonna pay for the iniquity of your father. And guess what? You are your forefathers. Man. Yep. And they complain of an ungodly father. Yeah. Which they are their forefathers. And yeah, you, you are ungodly. Are. Yeah. You are your forefathers, man. And you got the same mindset you always had. Exactly. Nothing changed about you, man. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Well, you just put on a different mask. Yeah. Right. That's it. Doesn't change about you and how you feel, none of that, man. Yeah. This, you know, this year. Right, I'm gonna wear this mask. Today. All right, you know what? I'm gonna take this off. This mask. That's all you do. Be a little. I'm gonna be like hell. I'm check, check, trim down them horns. Yep. Right. Yeah. Well, the scripture say. Well, the scripture yep. say that he's, you know, he's, he's, you know, he like, he, he, you know, he's, he transformed into an angel of light. Oh yeah, and we brought that out last lesson we did, bro. Yeah, mm. yeah that's what, all he's done. I even want to have the world see like he's the good guy, man. Yeah. And they want to have the world think Jake is the bad guy. Like, Jake's not in power oh, destroying man. the earth, man. Exactly. You are, man. Right. And everyone's seeing that now. Yeah. The, the, the earth is coming up against you. The scriptures say it. The earth yeah. shall rise up against thee. Mm -hmm. Can't fight it. It's the inevitability. That's, right. That's a good lesson right there. The inevitability. Comes in. Book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not grasp nor possess the land, nor fill the faces of the world with the cities. Yes, because if you, if, if you do, if you allow them to, to, to do all those things, this is what happens. This is the outcome of it. Is that yeah. Chaos. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Biff World. Biff World. Oh, wow, yeah, Biff World from Back yeah. to the Future, man. Back yeah. to the Future, that showed you that, man. Like you said, man. That's why he, that cancer got to be... You got to get rid of that long disease. Yeah. And Al coming back to do that, man. That's right. All right. So I will. Al come back, you devils are toast, man. Facts. You're through, man. You're through now, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. God knows. Verse 22, for I will rise up against them, say the Lord, your hour of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant, son and nephew, say the Lord, your hour. He's right. right on. <laughs> you know, and the Lord's going to cut off Esau, period, you know. You know, the man that's the progenitor of the seed. So mm -hmm. call off, you know, son, nephew, all that, you know. Yeah. So, you know, that goes to that Obadiah, mm -hmm. you know. That mm -hmm. Obadiah, you know, there ain't be no remainder of the house of Esau. That's right. Yep. Yep. That's right. And you know it's talking about Esau, Edom, because if you read the Psalms uh, 137, Esau is synonymous with Babylon. That's it. You know. Yep. That's it, brother. Tom. You got the Romans Tom. moving in yeah. off of that. Yeah. This Romans 3 and verse 3 says, for what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Yep. Yahweh forbid. So, I mean, the answer is no. Mm -hmm. That's still not going to stop the Lord for doing what he said he's going to do, just because you don't want to believe it. We understand, of course, it's talking about you. So, of course, I ain't going to want to believe it. <laughs> Duh. Go ahead. It says, yea, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar. Let the Lord be true, but every man a liar. Damn. That's right. It says, as it is you written. You ain't nothing but a man. You are, you the biggest liar there is, Esau. Big fight. That's it. Yeah, it says he is the father, the uh, liar and the father of it. That's it. It says, so, as. So that you, you being delusional and all that, not want, that's not going to help you, man. It's not going to help you. You think it's going to help you, but you're going to find out the hard way that they ain't, man. Yeah. Lord don't give a fuck if you don't believe it. Yep. Hey, your pride, your pride have deceived thee. That's it. It says, as it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Mm -hmm. So kind. It don't matter It don't matter what you believe. At the end of the day, Yahweh Bashim al will will go forth, man. And his will is that Babylon shall burn and Esau Edom is going to go into slavery. And all the nations are going to go right along in slavery with Esau Edom, man. That's right. That's, that's scripture. How about them apples, Lance? Yeah. <laughs> <And so. laughs> hey, he don't believe that, that the heathens are going into slavery. The two-thirds are going to get fucking annihilated. Right, that's well, that, scripture, that scripture applies to you. Yeah. That scripture applies to you, good glizzy goblin. Everybody that eat glizzy look like your ass. Why is that, bro? I just showed a brother pictures, nigga, shove her down a big-ass Polish. That look just like your you. genetics. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, boy. Glizzy. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. The, the tribe of Glizzy. Oh, boy. God damn, man. You know, I know you're watching. 
<laughs> and with that, we hope this lesson was edifying. He only comment when you talk about him. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, brother. We hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting again. We're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to. The bondage to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who rule well and taught us his truth and salutations. For the Akiyam, pushing us from truth and sincerity with charity. Shalom and a bomb a bomb. A bomb a bomb.